Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. It really helps me out and never want to miss a video of mine. So I just want to say before we start, obviously I'm outside, but it is raining. So if the sounds are a little weird, that's because it's raining out. Um, but today's video is going to be a care video because I feel like I have not done a care video in a long time. Um, and today's video is going to be the worst things you can buy for your hamster. So um, I have five things that I'm going to be saying today and I'm going to be going over, cutting over why they are a bad product and why you should not buy them for your hamster. Obviously not just naming off five things and then being like, bye, don't buy these products. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give you an explanation of why these are bad products and why you should not buy these for your hamster. Um, also, if you have never watched one of my care videos before, I do write down um, what I need to say. So if it seems like I'm going off of the script, I am, I'm reading it. I wrote it just to let you know, but I am going off of a script so if it seems like that all right so I will be popping up a picture right here and what the product is while I'm also talking about it um so if it because it's a little uneven because I'm purposely leaving some space over here okay so the first product is critter trails so I've made a lot of videos on these so if you guys want to learn a little bit more about critter trails and why they are so bad go to the videos I will pop it up on the screen or I will um, put it in the little um, I message or whatever and it will pop up because if you want to learn a little bit more I'm only going to go over it just a tiny bit because critter trails have a lot of stuff wrong with them and a lot of reasons why you should not buy them but I'm not going to rant about why it's bad in this video but Critter trails do not meet the right minimums for hamster. It is way too small. Hamster should have 460 square inches of space, while critter trails are 100 to 200 square inches. There is a lot of different types of critter trails, such as even tiny tails, and um, there's a lot of just different brands, the tall cages. All of them are wrong besides one, and I will pop it up on the screen. That is the only safe critter trail that you can get but the bad part is it's safe for hamsters, but it is marketed towards guinea pigs. It is not even for hamsters, but it is the right minimum for hamsters, which is just m makes me so mad. And again, there is a lot of more reasons why critter trails are a bad cage. So if you guys do want to learn a little bit more, I have videos on it and I have a lot of videos on why critter trails are bad and why you should not get critter trails. But that is the first one. Please look into a bin cage, um, a tank. I even have a video on the best cages for your hamsters because critter trails are not a good cage. And the sad part is, is that you can get such a large bin cage for cheaper than a critter trail because critter trails are honestly a little pricey up there. Like you can get a really good cage for the same price as this awful cage. All right, the next one is wired wheels. Now, wired wheels can give hamsters something called bumblefoot, where they get a bunch of cuts on their pad, they get a bunch of cuts on the pad of their feet, and that can be really dangerous because obviously it can get infected if there's a lot of it and you don't realize that your hamster has bumblefoot. Um, I don't even know what the, I don't know the recovery of bumblefoot. Um, I just know that you should not use wire wheels because it can give your hamster cuts on their feet and that can be so uncomfortable because obviously they need their feet to walk. Not only that, but wire wheels usually don't come in a variety of sizes for different types of hamsters, such as Syrians, um, dwarfs, uh, Chinese dwarfs, a lot of different types of hamsters that are have different body sizes and need different sizes of wheels. But usually wired wheels only come in like two different sizes, I think. So that also not only does it not get it, it causes pain to your hamster it's also going to cause pain in their back since the wheel is not big enough for them okay moving on i feel like people are not going to like this one as much and i will explain but it is sugary treats and i will pop up on the screen what treats i am talking about um, because I am not saying in any way that all treats are bad for hamsters and you can't feed them any sugary treats but there is so many different types of treats that you can give your hamster that don't have a ton of sugar in it 
And if you do have sugary treats and you want to give your hamster sugary treats, I would recommend giving your hamster barely once a week, maybe um, one every two weeks or something like that, because your hamster does not need it. It doesn't need it to um, be happy. It you giving it a normal treat such as um, mealworms, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, uh, dried fruit, and obviously plenty of other things that aren't super sugary and it's actually good for your hamster. Your hamster's not going to be like, oh, I don't like this owner because they're not giving me sugary treats. They don't care. It's not going to create a bond with your hamster if you're giving them sugary treats over normal treats and things that you just already feed your hamster but you're just giving them a little bit more because you want to give them a treat um so again i do not feed my hamster sugary treats um or treats uh i used to obviously i will say that i used to but i just don't see the point in it anymore because i have now i just feed them about that. Um, and things that are just not super bad for them and thing, things that are healthy for them and things that I already give them, but I'm just giving them more because I want to give them a treat. So I know a lot of people are going to have different mixed emotions about that, but that's my opinion. I don't give my hamsters sugary treats. Please make sure to look at the ingredients of your hamsters stuff um, before you buy it or whatever. If it's a really sugary thing or if it's a you know whatever it is always make sure that you are checking the ingredients to your hamsters stuff that you're feeding them all right so i have wanted to make a video on these but i have never gotten around to it because i don't feel like it's a big enough topic to just make one video on but i thought i would include it obviously in this and that is wild harvest edible logs or stuff logs. So again, I will have them popped up on the screen. Anything that looks like that is dangerous and you should not be giving your hamster it. So like I was just saying before I said this one, please make sure you are looking at the ingredients in your hamster's food or toys. If it has ingredients in it, please be looking at it because obviously it's a very, short thing just to look at it and be like oh okay that's not safe for my hamster i'm going to be putting it back that's a very easy and fast thing before giving it to your hamster and your hamster getting sick or you know you damaging your hamster's insides while you might think it's actually good for your hamster because they are chewing on it because it is a chewable log so it's a hide but also a chew toy it's actually really dangerous the first ingredient is wood shavings. So bad. And I think with the stuffed logs, I think it actually says pine wood shavings or whatever. I will pop it up on the screen, um, which is a really bad bedding for hamsters. But for them to be eating it is such an awful thing. Do not buy this product. It is so bad. Um, now, I don't know personally if it has actually ever killed a hamster or... Um, made a hamster really sick or whatever, but pine bedding is really bad for your hamster. It's really bad for their respiratory issue. If they are sleeping and breathing in that pine constantly, it is really bad for your hamster. But I don't know if it is really bad for them to be um, ingesting it, and especially the size of this, because a lot of hamsters do like to chew, and you should have other chews for your hamsters, but a lot of people think that this is a good Thing to give their hamsters because it's also a hide not only just a chew toy for my hamster but also a hide and it's so bad and please just do not get this toy there are so many other toys and hides and chews that you can get your hamster that you do not need to get your hamster this certain type of toy all right um next one is not all around a bad product to buy your hamster but the type of tube that i am talking about is a bad Thing to get your hamster so the next one is tubes so like i said not every single type of tube in the world for your hamster like toilet paper tube or something like that is not bad for your hamsters i am talking about a certain type of tube like critter trail um, i left this for the end since only people who buy critter trails will most likely have those tubes but i know that they sell them separately so way too small for steering hamsters and there has been unfortunately a few hamsters 
who have passed away from getting stuck in these tubes because they can't get out and then they can't get food and they can't get water and they unfortunately pass away. Now again, I'm only talking about critter trail tubes. There are a lot of different tubes that are safe for your hamsters, such as wooden tubes, I think PVC, I don't know if I'm saying it right. I will pop them up on the screen. Those are really good for your hamsters. Toilet paper tubes, a bunch of different types of tubes are okay for your hamster, but you need to be making sure that your hamster can actually fit in it and they won't get stuck or hurt by going into these tubes because some hamsters just assume that they can fit in certain things even though they definitely can't. Like if you have a, I'm just gonna say this, this is not part of the video, but say you have a wax burner or whatever and it has like little tiny windows in the thing itself, some hamsters will think that they can fit through that or think that they can put their face in it or whatever and their face will get stuck or their body will get stuck and that's so dangerous especially when it comes to ceramic but with these it's plastic it's never happened to me i don't want people thinking that like that has happened to me and that's why i know that but you just have to be very cautious about things that you give your hamsters you need to just be very logic and like think oh you know Hamsters don't need super sugary treats. That's not something that they have in the wild or they need in their diet. They don't need the, that in their diet. Hamsters need big cages, so I shouldn't be going out and getting a tiny little critter trail. Hamsters can't have pine bedding, so why am I getting a toy that is made out of pine and they can chew? And even if your hamster does fit in critter trail tubes, um, Hamsters also expand when it comes to when they are stuffing their cheeks. So they, their body gets a little bit bigger when they have their cheeks full of stuff. So even if your hamsters do fit in crit critter trail tubes or elastic critter trail tubes, they could get stuck when they stuff their cheeks with a bunch of food. So keep that in mind if you think, oh, you know, I I'm just going to still get it for my hamster because I think that they can fit in it and it's okay. I'm putting it in a bigger enough cage. Just keep that in mind that your hamster could still even get stuck in those tubes because those tubes are quite small. But even just getting a cork log, that is the same thing as getting a wooden tube or a plastic tube. My favorite is definitely PVC. My favorite because they kind of like go crazy and I just personally like those. I like those for my mice as well. But yeah, that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that it helped one person out there. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below about any of the products that I talked about or any certain type of products that I talked about. Again, I will either leave down in the description my other videos that I have made about critter trails or I will pop it up on the little um, circle that has like the eye and you can like add videos to it. I will also add that. So either one, check that or just look up critter trail and Avery the hamster and videos will probably pop up. So yeah. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.